going to go over some of the basic stuff for you guys so you don't feel hopefully lost and then get you completely lost at the end. Alright? So, start with half guard or do you want? You good? No, I'm good. Yeah. So, first thing I'm going to start with, John's in half guard. Half guard means he's on top of one of my legs. Pretty simple? Cool. Alright, so half guard, full guard means both my legs are around him. Alright? John tries to crush my head. Not that you'd ever want to do this for any reason whatsoever, but imagine I pissed him off. I know it's crazy. Okay, he's trying to crush my head, he starts looking for his crowbar to get his leg free, he's trying to get out of here. Right? I don't like this. So I need to move myself. I can't get in front of his head, I can't build my frames, because John's too big and manly. So I gotta start moving myself. I'm gonna move my hip out once, tuck that outside foot underneath his knee, right? I'm not gonna try to lift him here, okay? All I'm gonna do is scratch him and maybe hurt his knee with my big toe. So instead, I'm gonna tuck that big toe right under his knee and then roll to my back to load him up on my hips. Okay, now I can move his hip. Because I've got him loaded up on top of my foot. My inside leg, the one that's underneath him, is still biting down and still holding him to my shin. So he can't get that leg free. Right? Now I'm gonna extend him over my head and push in his armpit here, where he's got the overhook around my head. So I'm trying to launch him that way. Alright? As I lift, get him over top of me. Right? Now John's got two options. He can either sit to his top leg as I push, or his bottom leg as I push. Right? Now he's over top of me. He went towards his bottom leg. So I'm gonna take that butterfly hook here. Extend it away and tuck my back foot underneath this hip. Okay? The foot that's by my armpit here is gonna just wrap around and I extend my legs away. Okay, and there's a lot of different things that can happen depending on how they react to it. Right? So we're gonna tuck our foot underneath, it's called a jailbreak. Okay? And I'm gonna lift, <coughs> use that to lift. I'm on my side, I tuck that foot, I'm gonna roll to my back to load them up on my legs. And I'm going to continue through the motions, pushing him over me, okay, away from me, pushing in his armpit, not just throwing my arm, okay, because I don't want to get arm by him, all right? As I launch him, how he reacts is going to dictate what I do. In this case, I want the person on top, I want you to go with it, all right? Turn towards their legs, try to stand up on your feet, so the person on the bottom can tuck their feet in. When I'm under... Right? So I just launched him that way. You should see it was perfect. My back foot is going to be at his hip. My front foot, the one that's in front of him, he's got a smell there. He's going to be right behind his knee. So I'm pulling my feet opposite directions. My knees are almost in a butterfly stretch, pointing opposite directions, right? It's called X guard. Okay? My arm is going to be hooked behind my head or over his ankle and grabbing either my belt or my lapel. I don't care which. Or even a, just a hand if I want to get a guillotine. Break. And I extend my legs to start pushing them away. Cool? Mm -hmm. Real simple. Just get underneath or you're going to get the X guard. What's up? Yeah. Try the other direction this time. All right, so John's crushing my head. He's doing everything like he should be. Actually, he's the same side, but what he's going to do, right? I'm going to shrimp just a little half to just to turn my hips. If all this weight's on my head, I should be able to turn my hips just a little bit. Doesn't need to be a lot. My big toe heel is going to go underneath his knee. If you can tuck your whole foot under there because you're long and flexible, go for it. I'm just not that athletic. So I can only get my big toe in there. I'm going to roll to my back to pull him on top of that foot. Okay? Connect him to his leg. As I roll, I'm going to push with his armpit and lift my legs over my head. I'm not just going to extend them. Right? I'm going to pull my knees towards my nose to push him away. Right? Now if he tries to stand up, great. My foot that was that jailbreak is going to hook the back of his knee. My opposite foot is going to come right inside his hip. Okay? If they're not wearing a cup, their shin's going to meet you. It happens. Right? That's their choice. Now i got to control that leg so that he doesn't step over my knee here. Right? So as I extend my legs away, I'm just going to hook his ankle. And we're going to stop right here. There's a number of different situations that can happen. We're just going to stop. My knee is behind his butt, right? My foot's in front so that he's sitting essentially on my shin. My other leg is trapping his knee so he can't just yank his foot off or come back into me. If he does come back into me, then I can lift his hip up. Cool? 
Questions? All right, with your partners, one, two, three.